if you would have told me that the Vegas Golden Knights were 3 0 to start their season, I would have been like, <laughs> that's pretty cute, ain't it? But here we are with the Golden Knights starting out 3 0. Um, they played Dallas once, they beat them, they played Arizona twice, they beat them. So not the hardest schedule in the world, but hey, they're 3 0 to start off on an expansion team. That hasn't happened in quite a while. Now the question is, are they an actually good team, and, or are they just getting on a lucky streak here? Are they just gelling well early, and not really, and they aren't really a good team? Um, the, their questions are still there. I don't think they are a good team, but I think that they have the uh, motivation as an expansion team to do well in the, get right out the gate. Um, win again in, in home, um, that was a very special thing, winning at home, and just blasting the Coyotes. Um, that's really fun to see. Hopefully that Vegas Vegas area just get gels on them, um, and hopefully all things go well. Um, we'll have to wait and see for that if they actually keep going consecutively, and if they keep the, the fans keep getting interest through the years, um, we will um, start to see a good fan base grow if that it does happen. Now, James the real deal. He has been one of the main contributors for this team as scoring tons of goals. Um, he's been fantastic for them in the first two games. Um, he'll probably keep up the pace for a little while. Um, they play Detroit tomorrow, um, so hopefully they keep keep going. Uh, it's fun to watch, definitely. Uh, Vegas one of my favorite teams, um, and it's just going to be fun to watch them. Now let's talk about the Flowers, shall we? Mark Andre Fleury has been so good for the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, he's allowed just nothing by him really. It's been really fun to watch how good he's been at Vegas. He has this motivation in his heart that. Hey, maybe Pittsburgh shouldn't have let me go. You know, this Matt Murray kid is just just a flash in the pan. Maybe I should just be there. But it, Pittsburgh made the right decision here, let's be honest. But maybe he's just trying to prove himself still. Um, prove himself that he's still a great starter. Um, and he's been doing that so far. He's been fantastic for Vegas. Um, their defense has really let him down. But he's just been stopping everything. So it doesn't matter really. Um, if he just stops everything, it's fine. But the defense needs to get some more some more some more balance going they haven't really been all that that special um but we'll have to wait and see now will they keep up this pace i don't think so will they make the playoffs definitely not i don't think that they have the quite the team to make it there there's lots of better teams in this west that could make it but hey i think they'll be competitive for that spot i think they'll be right around the building i i don't know if they'll get the top five pick or a top or be a bottom five team um i think that they're doing very well if they keep up this pace they might not be a terrible team um, and maybe they start doing well just a bit, uh, maybe make a run for the playoffs, Not probably not get there, but probably be competitive, like a team like Winnipeg this past season, or Carolina this past season, a team that doesn't make it, but was competitive. Now, if they truly want to tank, of course, they would be as terrible as can be, but trying to, but the key to being a good expansion team is to get good prospects while winning for your for your new fan base. If you are losing and losing, it'll just kind of be kind of productive for your fan base. They won't really want to watch it. Um, nobody really, really want to watch it. Um, so if you if you start winning some games, um, you, you're a lot better in the long run. Um, for fan attendance, it'll be a lot less likely that you move in the long run, and it'll just help everybody. Um, you can't really you can't really get first overall picks and expect your team your team, your fan base to wrap around that team, and it'll, it'll just come falling down even if you have a good team. Now, of course, George Afi still hasn't made the best, best decisions with his defense. There's like 18 different guys that could be in. Shea Theodore's still in the minors. Ship shot with the minors, but it's working, I guess. I mean, it'll be, I think it would be a lot better if you had Ship Job as your first liner, if you had Theodore as one of your defensemen, but hey, it's working out, which like, kind of sucks for guys like Theodore, who should be on the NHL roster, but aren't and the team's winning somehow, so I don't know how they're doing it, but it's kind of ruined Fedor's depth, he should, or development, he should be grow he should be growing in the NHL, he should be playing in the NHL, but he's not, which kind of sucks, um, he was in Anaheim, Anah Anah where he which he really wouldn't have gotten a chance in Anaheim, and he goes to Vegas thinking he'll have a huge chance to get great minutes, and no, he, and there's all, there's a guy like Derek England who's getting all the time, and it's like, that must be the most frustrating thing in the world, but hey, you might get your playing time somewhere else. Now, of course, they still have great picks. They still have a lot of picks. Um, they have more quantity over quanti or quality, which I don't know if I quite agree with. Um, but hey, it might work out for them if they have great drafting. I think they had great drafting this past season. I think that they have it very well. So maybe they can keep it up with the, all these seventh round, these sixth round, and these fifth round picks. And I don't know. It might work out for them. But I think that they should go for qual quality. 
But hey, um, whatever they want to do, I guess they are they are the boss. That is going to be it for today, guys. Guys, enjoy. Make sure you like. Guys, we love to enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.